Don Lemon, desperate to recreate Tucker Carlson's solo success on X, somehow thought hosting a gotcha moment with Elon Musk would be a great start to his non-CNN career. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the great theory as it really- I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that constantly, were... I could care less. And now advertises his show as a dig at Elon. Elon Musk is mad at me. And I just put out a statement about what happened between him, me, and the interview that he is apparently so upset about. Running to his Instagram to explain, Elon Musk encouraged him to come on his digital town square for all because he was a new and diverse voice. But somehow Lemon is bitter that Musk's global town square, quote, seems to not include questions of him from people like me. But as X Business posted on Twitter, the platform is open to Don, even without censorship, they're just not entering into a commercial partnership with Lemon. To which a parody Zuckerberg account asked, why? And Elon even replied, because Lemon's show was basically CNN on social media, and CNN is already dead. Which is a fair point, as after Don Lemon was fired from CNN last year, his online imprint as basically state-sponsored media hasn't really changed. So Don Lemon wants to paint this as, evil Elon Musk is censoring me. But the reality is, Lemon can't stand without the corporate sponsors propping him up. And for him to cry about Elon suppressing a voice of diversity doesn't really fly when they're both African American. But it's not stopping Lemon from crying about Elon supposedly suppressing free speech. To rally his base to be angry at Elon, call into question his ability to be a free speech absolutionist, saying not paying Lemon is somehow suppression, to which those are all verified $8 a month paying Twitter users. But Elon has made it clear how he views people that think their money will somehow change his perspectives on business. If, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. But go yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I hope it is. And what a shoe-sized IQ take. You can't have free speech unless you pay me to speak on your free-to-use platform. I make decent money on YouTube, and since Elon won't monetize me on X, he must have a problem with Korean, Irish, bootleg, sub-zero-looking, Christopher Walken-sounding podcasters. I always knew he hated free speech and would suppress the most bizarrely diverse voices like Decoy. No, that's nonsense, and they know it. But these former CNN imbeciles are so used to getting front-page gold sticker status for simply parroting the Democrat narrative, not knowing that beyond the back backyard of their millionaire daddy's mansion, they simply can't compete with even Neanderthal commentary channels like me. As Lemon's not the only former CNN personality that's struggling, as Chris Cuomo recently went on Tucker's new show on X. So one of the reasons I think that you called me was because we'd had such similar lives and you're one of the few people who kind of understand. To which Tucker can finally be brutally honest. Because I still want to know why you came after me as much as you did. Because I'm way. a dick, probably. <laughs> Because it was easy. Because I don't like CNN, and I really mean that in, in my heart of hearts. I really just. But why me? And was actually able to call him out on his crap to his unmasked face. Pro mask. I'm the guy who got busted in the New York Post because I took a run without a mask on, walked back in my lobby, and somebody ratted on me, and then I became a hypocrite. I want you to wear a mask, but I'm not. I, I get it. I I didn't wear a mask. You came after me for that. At all. I did, and I'll tell you why. Please. I didn't wear a mask at all. And that's one attack that I, I will not walk back because I think it's fair. But if it's true that you must wear your mask at all times, then you must wear your mask at all times, whether it's inconvenient or not. Don't go for well, a And I absolutely love everything about this. Not only the fact that Tucker can honestly tell Cuomo you're a garbage person and here's the various reasons why, but that Cuomo has to sit there and accept it in front of Tucker's 12 million followers like the Washington Generals to Tucker's Harlem Globetrotters. Not because becoming a conservative punching bag was what he ultimately inspired to be, but because he has to. I don't know how much viewership Cuomo has on his new standalone show, but I severely doubt it has as much as his artificially inflated CNN spot, and likely not even pulling in decoy voice numbers, which sad to say, I still see it as an insult, albeit for the both of us. Because I literally see this as the equivalency of Joe Rogan finally inviting me on his podcast, but spending all 120 minutes checklisting the numerous reasons he hates my podcast and my face. Joe Rogan podcast, check it out! 
decoy voice. Welcome to the show. God, you're unpleasant to look at. Why do you sound like a bootleg Chinese version of Christopher Walken on Prozac? You know what, Jamie, can you pull up my bow? I'm about to tweet this arrow right between his elk-like eyes. Sure, I'd be crying on the inside, but I wouldn't be able to storm off. One, because that makes the moment more viral, and hashtag decoy moist would be trending everywhere. But two, because I need the viewership boost. As Cuomo going on Tucker, and even Lemon interviewing Musk, these aren't events they want to do because they're so fond of Elon and Carlson. They're doing it because they basically have nothing else to provide other than to cling to the coattails of relevance of people that are actually accomplishing things. Because while Lemon whines about Elon not censoring so-called hate speech on X while Simon simultaneously crying that he's being suppressed on X. X is still the only place that tells the truth about heinous mass <laughs> incidents occurring in our schools, to which even Elon Musk himself amplifies the message, as without Twitter, nobody would know this mass incident even occurred. Without a free social media platform like X, this very inconvenient data point would never even be known. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how conservative firefighters in New York City are being hunted down and sent to essentially a re-education camp.